this session we will learn about how do we handle page factory what is page factory importance of page factory how to declare a page factory and how to use page factory so how what is this page factory first of all we need to understand what is the importance of page factory within uh, selenium uh, why are we giving such importance to page factory and uh, trying to use page factory so till now in the last videos you would have seen we have been used driver dot find element by dot xpath or by dot id in this way see if you see here i have been using driver dot find element uh, by by dot xpath in the same way if you see here i have been using driver dot find element by dot xpath so every time whenever we use driver dot find element we are trying to identify one element on a given web page and uh, trying to perform the action on that particular element so what what makes the difference between page factory and driver dot find element so for example we have taken uh, a project and we have written uh, some test cases some around let's take 100 test cases are done and every element has been identified using driver dot find element like this driver dot find element by dot x path or by dot id or by dot name so after uh, a couple of days or couple of months one of the developer uh, or the management of the product has come up with uh, please change and some look and feel only look and feel not the text boxes or anything just they said to change the look and feel and the developer has modified the properties of the text boxes as well you just think that the developer has modified the properties of the web elements available on the web page as well what happens immediately our scripts start failing so when the scripts start failing we try to uh, check which te test cases are failing and try to debug those issues when we try to debug those issues we see at one particular time unable to find this web element slash slash a contains text comma text con conditions x path on the web page and then we'll see where does this fail what we'll try to analyze on the web page at what particular point this has failed maybe x path may be easy but when it comes to id or name class name it may be difficult for us to identify what was that element on that particular web page let me take an example over here let me take deal for loans website example there are a number of elements in apply home loan and i want to try to perform an action of uh, identifying some text boxes for example if you see this city other city red checkbox is disabled let's think this was enabled more and we were trying to enter text into this particular other city text box earlier we were able to do that but now this particular text box is disabled uh, and the developer has uh, changed the id or something at that time when we are running automatically this the test case fails but how do we identify this is this id is related to other city once again you need to come to as the developer has changed the city other to he has changed only to city and you are trying to identify this city upon the web application so what you will do you will copy this city other which was earlier and try to check on the web application and not find that particular element on the web application so here now you are able to see but when it was mod when it is modified you will not be able to see so in such areas how would you identify that this is the particular web element has been modified by the developer or in areas for example there are hundreds of test cases and because of some environmental issues that particular element was not found so in order to overcome all these things the selenium team has come up with a concept called page factory 
what is this page factory page factory is nothing but defining all the elements at the starting of the class what is this once again defining all the web elements at the starting of the class and giving them a meaningful naming convention that will help anyone to identify that particular element immediately today i have written the test case with driver dot find element and someone is executing and someone is modifying no one knows what that element was and how to uh, debug that element when it has failed when you give a meaningful naming convention for each web element in such situations you will not face any kind of issues for someone to understand or debug or analyze or the same person who has written and when he is debugging that such a elements you will not face any criticality so now let's see implementation and see how really is this working so what i am doing i am trying to create a class over here new class and i give the naming convention as page factory program and con enter a new class has been created and selenium team has given us a standard prototype of writing a page factory element so this is the standard prototype that is being used so i'm just giving you this here so at the rate find by at the rate find by is nothing but it acts as driver dot find by if you see this at the rate find by this at the rate find by acts as driver dot find element by dot by dot driver dot find element by dot so this then either it is an x path or id or name so here we need to mention either we are trying to use id or name or x path id or name or class name etc whatever we want to use whatever the element that we have identified according to that we should put that in double quotes we have to put that in double quotes here we have to put that in double quotes then we need to define that it as private web element as we know that in the last videos we discussed that a single element can be treated as web element like this web element e equal to driver dot find element by dot x path and the x path in the double quote some abc i am writing some abc so now i am covering this x path in a web element the web element e now this e is a web element which has the identification of this particular element so this element is nothing but e now this element is nothing but e so in the same way the page factory is identifying this element as e and we have to give a meaningful naming convention over here a meaningful naming convention for example uh, this i have written for a uh, gmail account sign in underscore button so, so at any point of time if an element fails immediately we can see that sign in underscore button has failed and we can identify that particular element easily oh sign in underscore button has failed that means on so, gmail login sign in underscore button will be there and that's where this particular element has failed okay so we need to go over there and see whether the any id or name or class name has changed over there or xpath that we have written is not identifying that element this is how we use this page factory so now let's get into the real implementation with an example so 
So I am importing at the rate find by from at the rate find by from selenium and web element again from selenium. So now this is the standard. Now before I go with let me write a program public web driver driver. So I'm declaring that web driver of type web driver and importing that. So once this is done, I am trying to write a constructor public void page factory example page factory pardon me it's not void it's not be void at all page factory program so within that we have to write driver equal to new Firefox driver. So I'm taking Firefox driver. So if you see here, driver is equal to new Firefox driver is initializing the Firefox driver, etc. But in the last classes, every time uh, in the last videos, if you remember, I was telling that we need to initialize the Firefox driver and driver variable will inherit all the properties of Firefox and the commands that can be used on Firefox driver. So now as we are going to use and every time we were writing driver dot find element. So as discussed in the last videos, the first thing that will be called in a given class is the constructor. In the constructor, we have written driver is equal to new Firefox driver. So we were using driver dot find element. That means driver was initialized in the constructor which was invoked, which was firing at the starting. So there was not at all a problem. But we are now using a page factory. Page factory will not use driver. It is going to use at the rate find by directly. So we should initialize the page factory concept as well. So I am going to write over here like this page factory so page factory dot init elements page factory dot init elements init elements is nothing but initialize the elements that we have written written over here so we are going to initialize the elements here directly so before the uh, when the constructor is called immediately the all the elements that we have written in the form of page factory has to be declared has to be initialized and in the place of page i'm writing this what is this this is nothing but the current class what i'm telling with this statement is page factory dot init elements driver take inherit all the properties of firefox as well as initialize all the web elements of this particular class able to get me yes so now let me write a simple program with the at the rate test annotation and run the test case as test ng test case at the rate test so public public void Page factory example okay. so now driver dot get so let me initialize the website of deal for loans itself so the deal for loans with this element what i will do over here is just see so the browser is initialized now i want to identify the full name text box how am i going to identify 
so I'll identify the full name text box over here and its name id equal to name so I have to define like this it's not xpath it's id so I'll write id over here and in double quotes instead of the xpath I have to write I will I have to copy paste this particular id value its name so i am copying that and putting it in a eclipse so now i will give the naming convention for this what is the naming convention the naming convention for this element is i have to give it as the first name text box right so first name underscore txt text box so someone who tries to understand he can understand this it as first name text box no i will call this into the method i have pasted that dot send keys what we were doing earlier driver find element by dot id dot send keys instead of driver dot find element we have replaced that with page factory and see now first name underscore text box dot send keys I am trying to enter some ABC over here and click on enter. See now first name underscore text box dot send keys. Now this program has to run and give us the output. So just let me put a thread dot sleep. So thread dot sleep just to see uh, immediately not to close the browser. I am giving 5000 milliseconds that is 5000 seconds and I'm adding a try catch block for this. So after this I'm going to add after suit uh, at the rate after suit just to close the browser immediately. The rate after suit public void quit. Driver dot quit. So shall let me run the program and show you how the page factory runs now. So run as testng. See, ABC is entered into the full name text box. It will wait for five seconds. And the test case is passed. Got. Now, let's assume. Let's assume that the developer has changed the full name ID to name value to name one value. How would we I do that? So, just think. I'm just trying to give an invalid ID over there. To show you that how page factory can help us and as test ng so immediately this has to fail for us so it has failed and for us to identify this element it would be easy the debugging would be easy so just see now it says when i clicked on that element first name underscore text box this has failed tells me that it is unable to find this so immediately what i will do i will come directly here oh okay first name uh, this is the full name. So here this has this, for example, it should be full name. I have given first name. Okay, so immediately uh, I come to know yes full name is failing That means there is some change in the full name So I will come immediately for this text box and see this is oh this has changed or my x path anything that I have used either it may be ID or name or class name or x path immediately I'll come here and see this has failed okay i need to change this got my point hope the concept of how page factory works thank you very much for your time have a great day